Nearly three decades after an Oregon man was dealt a life sentence for a murder he committed as a 16-year-old, he is now being released. Fox 12's Spencer Thomas joins us live in Oregon City, telling us more about this controversial decision. Spencer? Yeah, that's right. This comes after a Clackamas County judge resentenced Todd uh, Davila, who is now 46 years old, right here at the Clackamas County Courthouse. Now, yesterday marked the seventh time he has appeared in court for a resentencing with a new outcome. Now we are going to take you back to 1991, where it all started. I think that there is a true life sentence in Oregon. I believe that life means life in Oregon. That was the response from former prosecutor Terry Gustafson after 16 year old Todd Davila was convicted of murder with a life sentence in 1991. The prosecutor says it's the most gruesome homicide she's ever seen. 30 years ago, Todd Davila forced his way into a home where 22 year old Lisa Flormo was staying in Wilsonville, Oregon. Davila admitted he tried to rape Flormo, and when she tried to fight back, he stabbed her 15 times with a Boy Scout knife, almost decapitating her. Nearly three decades later, with a series of overturned rulings and appeals, Davila was resentenced from 50 years to 25 years with supervised probation by a Clackamas County judge. Given that Davila has already served 31 of those 25 years, he will now be released. The family of Lisa Flormo has stood tall, appearing at every court hearing possible. Her sister Lorna Flormo speaking her truth in 1992. And this is the hardest part of, of this experience is having to go and be faced with the gory details of what happened to my sister. And we won't enjoy doing that, but we'll do it for Lisa and we'll do it for everyone else to keep, keep society safe from people like that. And again in 2012. This is horrible and life, life changing what we've had to go through, not to mention just losing our sister, but being drugged through this. I'm just, I'm angry. I'm angry at the system for not, for, it, for what seems to me to put criminals' rights over victims' rights. Now in 2022, echoing the same cry for justice. Mostly what I feel is anger and rage at Todd Davila and at the system, that, the justice system that has drug us through this and re-victimized us over and over again. As Davila's release becomes reality, he had a message to the family describing his actions as selfish and heinous. There is nothing that I can do or say that will ever make right the harm that I caused. Nothing that can undo the devastation that I caused to her loved ones. I am and I will always be so sorry for what I did that day. Now, there is no word on when Davila will be officially released, but we will be sure to keep you up to date on air and online right here on KPTV Fox 12. For now, we're live here in Oregon City. Spencer Thomas, Fox 12 Oregon.